What's up guys, I hope you're all doing well. If your storage situation looks something like this and you are battling an ever-growing collection of external drives and you're looking for a better way to manage your files across all of these drives and as your collection of media grows, I wanna show you a change that I made that has made editing and file management a lot easier. So let's check it out. This is a RAID enclosure or RAID drive. And what this is in basic terms is a collection of hard drives all in one case. This allows you to have a lot of storage in a centralized location. Better yet, when you plug it into your computer, it shows up as one single drive. So your data is no longer fragmented. Now here's where it gets even better. This RAID is made up of just regular two terabyte desktop hard drives. They they can store a lot of data, but they aren't exactly known for blazing speeds. On the other hand, this right here is a Samsung SSD. It's really fast, but the cost per gigabyte is significantly higher than mechanical drives. By using this enclosure, you can create speeds that are faster than this SSD while also having eight terabytes of space for your files. Check out how the speeds from this enclosure compare to the Samsung. The way that this is done is by writing the data across all of the drives at the same time. Part of a video file you put on this drive may be split between all four of these drives as far as where the data actually resides. This type of RAID is known as RAID 0, but there are other types of RAIDs as well. Once you have an enclosure, you get to choose which type of RAID you actually want to set up. Different types of RAIDs serve different purposes. They're classified by the number after RAID. So at this one is RAID 0, there's RAID 1, 5, 6, 1 plus 0, or RAID 10. But the cool thing about it is that they all can kind of do something different. So like I mentioned, RAID 0 is for maximum performance. It writes data on all of the drives and it provides much faster performance than a single drive could ever give you. So it's kind of a greater than the sum of its parts type thing. So by having this in RAID 0, I can edit on 4K or HD footage. Basically, it's an eight terabyte SSD as far as the speeds are concerned. If you lose a drive in RAID 0 though, you're in big trouble. And it makes sense when you really think about it because all of your data is being written across all of these different drives. So if one goes out, you're gonna lose a portion of the data and it basically corrupts the entire volume. So if you're looking for more data protection rather than performance, you have a choice of doing something like a RAID 1, which mirrors the drives to give you two copies of your data. So in RAID 1, if a drive fails, you can put in a new drive to the enclosure and it will rebuild all of the data onto the new drive without any downtime. So that will basically give you two copies of the data once again. More drives in the RAID give you more options for different types of RAID. So you can add additional drive redundancies or a combination of redundancy and speed. There are RAID types where you can lose two or more drives in the RAID and not lose any data at all. The more redundancy you have, the more space you lose. And what that means is, if this is a 16 terabyte RAID, in RAID 1, where it's mirrored, you'll only have eight terabytes available. And for example, if it's a RAID 6 or 5, you may have something like 10 terabytes usable. So you do lose some space when you have the redundancy. One thing that's very important to note as we talk about all this is no matter what type of RAID you use, you should always have an additional copy of your data. No matter how much redundancy you have in your RAID, it's not a backup of your files. RAID and backup are not the same thing. So whatever you use, make sure to get another backup drive or an online file storage or anything to make sure that you do have a secondary copy of your data. The reason I use RAID 
in this example and why I like it is I can get a huge amount of performance and a large amount of storage space. And RAID drives are a great way to eliminate storage issues and give yourself the ability to archive, store, and access your footage in a way that's there for you when you need it. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them uh, below, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.